Hello watchers and dear subscribers, this is again Shrex from SmartHerd. Welcome to your 19th Android app development tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to talk about Android application components that is intents, activity, services, content provider and broadcast receivers. All these words seems to be quite heavy but trust me guys, it's gonna be very light soon. Now let's proceed. Now. All the professional applications that you see in your smartphone such as Facebook, Gmail or whatever applications or other many applications are actually made of 4 to 5 components. These components are Activity, Services, Broadcast Receiver, Content Provider and above all these components there exists the fifth component that is known as the Intent. Right? We will talk about each component in our tutorial series. Now first of all let me introduce you with the activity. Right? Now let's move forward. Till now guys we just saw action bar activity, main activity extending action bar activity. Now we can also write our codes like this main activity extends activity. Right? Both activity and action bar activity are actually similar. The difference arises only in case of the custom title bar that is absent in case of activity and present in our action bar activity. Right? Now guys, whenever you open your application, whatever screen appears in front of you, that is known as activity. The screen of the app that you can see here is an activity. The Facebook application screen that you see when you open your Facebook application is an activity. The WhatsApp application page is an activity. So whatever app you are using, the pages you can see, the interface you are able to interact with, that is known as the activity of the application. Right? Pretty simple. Now. So in short, an activity represents a single screen with a user interface, right? Now let us take a simple example. Suppose we open our Gmail application right now. Suppose I want to click on this button and compose an email, right? Which button? This button guys, right? Now when I click on this button, now this opens a, another page, compose page where I can write a subject, compose email attach a document and send it to someone right now when this page gets open that do not means the first page of our application is deleted or destroyed this is our first page now this page goes to our pause state when this page opens right now I am going to talk about the activity lifecycle few tutorials later when we migrate from one page to another, this requires our fifth component that is intents in Android. With the help of the intent, we are able to navigate from one activity to the another. Suppose we want to send an SMS, suppose we want to send an email, suppose we want to jump from one page to another, all these stuffs requires the use of intents in Android, right? Now, suppose user press the back button so what will happen when i will just click the back button guys it is just going to migrate back to the first page so this shows our first activity was not destroyed was not finished it was just in the stop state so when i press the back button it the first activity again gets resumed right and it becomes visible in front of us right now let's come to our services right now guys, your smartphone may be of 1GB RAM or 2GB RAM but at times passes, your smartphone becomes slower and slower. Now why does that happen right now? When you open your application manager in your smartphone, you will notice all these stuffs are running. Facebook, AppLock, WhatsApp, TrueColor, Hike, whatever. Many of the applications are still running even if you have not opened those application. Now, here at the bottom you can see 630 MB RAM used. This is a screenshot of my personal smartphone, right? I am having the 1 GB RAM and out of it 630 MB RAM is getting used every second, right? Only 215 MB is free for my new application to run, right? Now you must be thinking what the heck, I have not opened any of these applications but still it is running. Now these applications are actually running in the background with the help of the Android application component that is the services, right? Now many a times it happens if you are playing games then at the background your Facebook app is running you may or may not know that at the background your Facebook app is running and that app is continuously running and occupying the space of 67 MB as you can see here 
and it generates notification when you get any friend request or you get any comment on your photo or somebody likes your photo right all these stuffs are handled by the background process known as services so a service is a component that runs in the background to perform the long running operations or to perform work for remote processes right no props a service do not provides a user interface now what does that means a services is actually the background processes so it is not visible to the user like the activity is visible right so we can say that it do not provides a user interface that is user cannot interact with the services directly right now suppose you are using the whatsapp and at the background you are playing the music so that background music that is getting played is actually the service provided by your smartphone right and these services can be started by an activity of your application now let me give you a very simple example suppose you are playing a game right you are happy go lucky playing a game so this game the screen you are watching in front of you is actually the activity now at the background some process is going on Suppose you are having the application Google Play Store app it automatically updates your other applications if the updates are available in the Play Store server right now so at the background some action is going to take place this Play Store app is going to download the updates for the other applications while you play your game right you may or may not know this process is going on at the background but it is taking place right so this background process of downloading updates for the other application is actually known as what services so pretty simple guys hope you guys got something out of it what is the difference between activity and services i have given you a very sweet and simple example right so meanwhile if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below my video this is shrikes from smarthard signing off and catch you guys in the next tutorial and have a good day